In this video, we're going to uh, design the same beam that we did in RISA and using elastic analysis, but now we're going to use a plastic analysis approach. First is a pseudo-plastic analysis that is included in the, LIF, in, the, in the code, the AISC Steel Construction Manual, uh, where it basically allows you to redistribute the maximum negative moment to the lower uh, moment, typically a positive moment, a continuous beam. And as you can see in this uh, section B3.7 specifications of AISC, you are allowed to take uh, the negative moment as 9 tenths of the maximum moment, provided that you, re you increase the moment uh, in the positive side by taking one tenth of the average of the negative moments determined by elastic analysis. And then the last part we're going to use a plastic analysis, a full plastic analysis approach. So first let's take a look at the redistribution method. Uh, here if you look at the RISA results we have a maximum of 502 uh, kept feet. So we'll take 9 tenths of that, which gives us 452 kept foot. We also have to make sure that the moment, uh, the positive moment, and in right, so this is upside down, this moment is increased by the 10% of the average of the 502 and this 454 kept foot, which gives us a moment of 306 kip feet still less than the 452 kip foot moment so we can use this to design our cross section if we enter the tables again the design tables uh, the plastic moment column for LRFD the lightest section is going to be one that has a moment capacity of 473 kip feet and that's a W21 by 55. So we didn't save any weight from the previous section, but we saved uh, a few inches in the depth. The, the other section is W24 by 55. Now we look at the plastic analysis. So continuous beam using the plastic analysis. Uh, here we're going to use a virtual work approach. So we'll look at uh, two spans. The first here we're going to develop a plastic hinge those two locations and one at mid depth this second span is going to be exactly the same so we won't touch it uh, to find the capacity the plastic capacity for that span i'm going to assume that this angle is theta this angle will also be theta because the plastic hinge mid span um, well, there's a plus hinge and mid span, and so this angle here will be 2 theta. If I do the work analysis here, the virtual work analysis, the internal work equals the external work. Uh, the internal work, I'm going to have plastic moment uh, going through a rotation of theta at this end, plastic moment going through a rotation of theta at this end, and then a third plastic moment going through two theta in the middle. So the total internal work is going to be four theta times the plastic moment. The external work is going to be equal to the resultant of the distributed load, the 3.6 kip feet times 40 feet. And that is going to go through an average displacement of theta times 20 divided by 2. So the average displacement here is going to be 20 theta divided by 2 or 10 theta. And so our external work then is going to be equal to the um, resultant of the distributed load times the average displacement so it will be 3.6 kip foot times 40 feet times 10 theta. Notice theta, during the virtual uh, rotation, 
can be eliminated from this equation and we can solve for the uh, plastic moment. And that plastic moment in this case is going to be 360 kip feet. We can do this last span, which is only 30 feet, that only has two plastic hinges, one over the continuous support, one not exactly in the middle. In fact, that hinge will happen at about uh, 0.586 times the length, which in this case will give us um, 17.58 or 17.5 17.6 now if we assume this to be theta going through an analysis this is going to be 1.4 1 1.41 theta and so the total rotation for the mid or the point in the middle is going to be 2.41 uh, data. So if we do our analysis, again, the internal work, the virtual work analysis for this, the internal work equals the external work, we have that the internal work is going to be the plastic moment at this point times data plus the plastic moment here times 2.41 theta but we don't have a plastic moment here. This is a real hinge. It rotates without any resistance at all. So we'll have 3.41 theta times m sub p. And then the external work is going to be the average displacement times the result. In this case, it's going to be 3.6 times 30. And so that average uh, rotation displacement times the resultant is going to be equal to 30 times W U or 3.6 and 17 1 half times 17.6 theta. So once again since theta is a virtual rotation we can uh, get rid of that and so we have that the plastic moment is going to be equal to about 278 kip feet. And that is for the span, the 30 foot span. So the first two spans have a required moment capacity of 360 kip feet, and the last span at 278. Obviously, this is going to control, this is the largest moment. So we enter our table with 360 kip feet and you notice that uh, this W21 by 44 almost works but not quite so we have to then go up to this case 398 capacity the section that works in this case the W21 by 48 quite a savings from the W24 by 55 that we had using RISA with the elastic analysis and then uh, this moment redistribution case we had a W21 by 55 full plastic analysis uh, we can use a W21 by 48 uh, section. I hope this was helpful.